Kyrie Walker used to be one of the biggest names in high school basketball, where he was one of the top players in his class in 2020. He was a dominant figure on the court, where he was a natural scorer of advanced handles, and unlike Julian Newman, Walker was 6'4 and had a very strong build, where he was built like a football player. He had the height and talent to for sure make the NBA, but similar to Julian Newman in my previous video, Walker has disappeared from the spotlight also, where he doesn't appear much on social media or YouTube anymore. So where honestly is Kyrie Walker currently in 2021? Let's find out. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy C3, back with a little video, cause you know I only dropped the best content around here. First off of course, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for joining me on this journey since we just hit 800 subscribers and that means we are slowly inching closer to the 1000 milestone, which is insane, but of course, we have to hit 900 first. So I honestly appreciate all of you guys who take the time out of your day to watch my videos and support the gang since it really motivates me to produce new videos weekly. So again, before we start and you're new here and like the videos that you're watching, please hit the like and subscribe button to get us closer to 900 subscribers and other than that, keep up the support and enjoy the video. Kyrie Walker is a name that most people know very well since he was very popular in high school basketball similar to Julian Newman where they both had very big media coverages. They both appeared on major accounts such as Overtime, House of Highlights and more but unlike Newman, Walker drew a lot of attention because of his insane dunk highlights at such a young age and how dominant of a player he was. To put this in perspective, even in his freshman year at Morrow Catholic High School in Hayward, California, Walker was able to adapt to a new environment and still put up very nice numbers consisting of 21.3 points, 6.5 rebounds, and 4.3 assists. As a result, he started to gain a lot of attention from scouts and social media and it all took off after he transferred to Hillcrest Prep located in Arizona in his sophomore year, but this is where things get interesting and is what sets him to the path that he's on today. So Walker started to play for Hillcrest, where he retained his dominant performances and became a 4 star recruit very quickly, which is a very high ranking for those of you who don't know. Around this time though, this is where multiple D1 universities started offering him full ride scholarships such as Arizona State, Kansas, Michigan, UCLA, Arkansas, Western Kentucky, and many more, but ultimately, he chose to commit to play basketball at Arizona State. Obviously. Arizona State was thrilled to have him since by the end of his sophomore year, Walker put up 25 points, 8.7 rebounds, and 8.3 assists per game, which was basically close to a triple-double every game. Those are impressive numbers, and to top it off, Walker was extremely efficient on the field, shooting 51% and also shot 43% from three. Walker was extremely athletic, was able to shoot the ball, had the height he needed to succeed, and these reasons all factored into why Walker was basically unguardable since he could do everything on the court, but this is where his story becomes intriguing. Around October in 2018, Walker just suddenly decommitted from Arizona State out of nowhere and didn't really explain why. Of course though, he was open to recruitment again for other universities and he carried on with his junior season where he was still able to improve his game even further. Walker put up 30.2 points, 11 rebounds, and 5.9 assists per game on 53% from the field and 47% from 3. As you can see, Walker had increased all his stats and percentages except for his assists where he was still able to put up 6 a game. By this time, Walker was a 5 star recruit and one of the hottest names in the country but he still had yet to make a decision on which university he had committed to and in the end, he never committed to a single one. Shortly after his junior year, Walker left Hillcrest Prep in October of 2019 where he did not play a single game in his senior year and he officially graduated in December of 2019 which was extremely odd since most high school students usually graduate in June though. Things became real quiet quickly and not many people had heard much from Walker until finally in April of 2020, Walker explained to the media and everyone that he wasn't going to take an offer at all or a pro career overseas and instead focus on preparing himself for the NBA. So in other words, Walker did not want to go to the traditional college route or overseas since he believed that personal training was more important and would increase his chances of success. So basically from that time until now in 2021, Walker has been working extremely hard and training with a program called Chameleon BX and a renowned trainer called Frank Matriciano. In all honesty, I had never heard of this program myself too and I'm sure the majority of you guys haven't too, but after researching about Chameleon BX, I discovered it was one of a kind personalized training program that had a duration of 12 months. Specifically, this program targets in helping elite high school basketball players and helps them get prepared physically and mentally for the NBA draft. On its website also, it claims that it has an unrivaled fitness training program 
compared to its competitors, and skill training from former NBA coaches who worked with numerous NBA players in the past. Additionally, what I found interesting was that the program included other aspects also, such as education and a meal plan, which is extremely similar to colleges and universities. Therefore, in conclusion, Walker has disappeared from the media in 2021, since similar to Julian Newman, Walker has been polishing his game, but Walker definitely has a shot at making the NBA, unlike Newman. Walker has additionally been getting into the right mindset of an NBA player, and as a result, this is why he hasn't appeared much on YouTube or social media. But what do you guys think? Do you guys believe Walker made the right choice in dismissing his college offers or going overseas in order to focus on the NBA draft with Chameleon BX? And do all of you guys believe this program works as well as it claims? Let me know in the comment section below about all your guys' thoughts. And of course, if you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe button and bell for more content. And until next time, AC3 out!